Hey, so I'm just going to do a tutorial on how to properly do sprite sheets in Flash. So this is one that I've done before and as you can see, you know, it's lined up in one frame. But if I click on one of these, double click on them, they actually open up into symbols and they've got all the frames animated like that. So basically you could just do your animation like normal so you can see all the frames, export it to a symbol. And then the next trick is um, to line them up. It's a bit tricky because see how they're different sizes. What I did was I've got two different like uh, versions of these uh, grids. Uh, but that's for the nine by. It's for the three by three to make nine. Uh, and then there's this one, uh, which apparently I'm not using, but yeah. It follows the same sort of thing and the reason why I've done an offset like this is because they go in the center so as long as the dot is right right in the middle of the set of, of the uh, of the of the effect it'll be in the right spot <coughs> but you say oh but some frames have different sizes so to avoid that what I've done is or well what you can do is this that's like a, a grid here so it's on the first frame but what you can do is you can extend it all the way out to the end so every frame has this one grid in it so that way every single one of these is the same size um, I'll just turn that well you, you can't see it so if, if I click on that you can see it's it's literally just a square with 0% opacity and that way when I export it, it doesn't export that with it and so because I've got it on a layer here and I've done this you can see the outline so when I go back it's, it's literally still there you just can't see it so it's actually taking up the full size of this um, frame even though the image isn't fitting in there and you'll know what I mean once you start doing this. You'll get boxes that are too big or too small for these. Um, <clears throat> so as long as you get the size exactly right. So my canvas on this is 512 by 512. So um, to fit three across, you know, it's a bit fucked. But uh, it works better if it's uh, you know this grid. So it would be four and 512 divided by four. You know binary friendly 64 I think yeah 64 so every frame would be 64 by 64 so as long as all of these are 64 by 64 these are 85 because it's a third of 512 but if I was to do these they would be 64 by 64 each and so when I line them up the actual boxes themselves if I hold shift you can see they, they're right up against each other and there's no way you can get it wrong Okay, that's slightly wrong. But... <clears throat> Another trick, if you don't want to have to change the sizes and put that box, is uh, the pivot point here. So in the animation, you'll see um, the very middle, which is the zero point. You can see that's lined up right up on there. So if I zoom in, this point is like as close as you could possibly get, and that's on. That's the same on every single frame. So if I go back into the object, zoom in a bit, you'll see this plus. So if as long as you line that up, the very middle of the, the grid, and that's why I've done the grid this way and not filling it up. You know, three by three boxes, I've done four to the 512, just so the lines intersect right in the middle of where the frame would be. And that way you can you know, select all. And if any of these do overlap, then you just scale all of them down a little bit. And they should fit. And all, all you need to do is really just make grids for how many frames you want it. So there's a lot of frames, it's a lot of work, but um, the other thing you can do is just export them as images. I find that more annoying because you can't, um, you have to make a scene per thing and it exports the entire flash file and you've got to make a 
different file per animation and it's just sucky. So yes, learn them, learn some things. See ya.